Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Toon Gaming and I am back. Yes guys, I am back and listen, sorry I've been away, I've been focusing on my Twitch growth. If you're not doing so already, please go and follow me on Twitch. Right guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can create a nice and easy design for your TikTok videos, okay? I know there's been a lot of questions being asked about editing videos, so what I've done is I've written a list and I'm going to be knocking these videos out for you guys weekly, okay? So the whole purpose of today's video is for you to get your TikTok videos to stand out with a nice, simple design. You might have seen this design on TikTok already and some of you struggle to find out how do you actually do it. Don't worry, your boy tune is going to explain that for you right now. Right guys, before we get started, we're going to be using the program Shotcut. Now, if you haven't done so already, please go and watch my first editing videos here. This will explain how you can download Shotcut and also how you can use the basic fundamentals of the program. It's good to be back, but listen, as always, if you haven't done so already, please go and smash that subscribe button for your boy and let's get straight into the video right guys so welcome back now we're inside shortcut this is just a quick look of what we're trying to achieve today with creating as you can see the sort of layout is on the screen here we have basically our footage which is playing directly in the middle the background's a bit blurred out we also got our camera here if if you use webcam and stuff and obviously we've got room at the bottom to write a logo or promote something so this is the look that we're going for so let's let's get into it straight first off we need a project name okay so let's call this tiktok template all right um it's template because you might be able to use it again for future tiktok videos next up what we're going to want to do is change the video mode okay so we need to make sure we have the same resolution of what's on tiktok so if you want to go to here and add in these resolutions 576 by 1024 that's what i've been using uh, make sure you name it TikTok uh, in, in the name section and then you're going to whack OK. All right. And once that's set, you're just going to click start here and boom, we're ready to rock and roll. OK, yo, guys, before we add our footage in, I just want to remind you guys, this is going to be a TikTok template video. OK, so that means before we actually going to open up our TikTok templates, you must have a piece of footage that you've already edited and it's good to go. All right, so I'm assuming that everyone has added their footage in. If you don't know how to add your footage, like I said, you should have watched my first editing videos. If not, you can click and drag into the software or you can up here, top left, open file and go and locate your piece of footage wherever it is on your desktop. What we wanna do is we wanna create two more additional video tracks down here. Okay, so we have three tracks and then the piece of footage that we got, we're gonna click and drag put it onto one of our video tracks, drag it all the way to the start. Um, and we're gonna copy this down as well. So we're gonna click on our clip, Control C, if you're on Windows um, and on keyboard, you can Control C and come down here and click Control V, that will paste it in. Or you can legit just drag the clip down again from the source, sorry, um, and put it down there. And just make sure that we have three layers of the same video on our tracks, all on top of each other, okay? Now guys, on the the bottom layer, so V1 and V3, okay, what we want to do is we want to take away the audio because we don't need the audio on all three clips. So select the, the clip that you're on, right click it, it says detach audio here. You want to click that and then hit delete on your keyboard and get rid of the audio. And do the same for the other track here, V3. So we're going to right click, detach audio, delete. Okay, so we only have audio running on the middle clip. That's what we want to see. So before we move on, I just want to break it down to make you understand why we're doing this. So how it's going to work is the bottom layer that we have here is going to be our background. Okay, it's the same clip, but we're going to we're going to drag it out, make it look big, and we're going to put a blur onto it. Okay, so no one will see that. It just fills the space. Okay, so we don't get um, black letterboxing. The middle clip is obviously going to be our main piece of footage that we're showing here. And obviously we're going to obviously expand this as well. So it shows a bit bigger on the screen. And then the top clip is going to be used for our webcam. So to show our face, okay, we're going to put a mask over this so we can actually show our face expressions of what's going on in the video. Okay. That's just an understanding of what we're doing. So how do we achieve all this? Okay. Let's start off with the background. Okay. So make sure that we have V1 selected here. We're going to click to um, our filters 
for up here filters click the plus sign and we're going to start off with a simple um, size and position so we can click size and position now what we want to do is we want to make sure that this is dragged out okay so just grab a corner we can pull it out pull out the bottom corner as well okay uh, we can move it a bit here drag it out even a bit more okay remember guys this is the center point from the clip so we can just make sure that we resize this and we want to place it just about here something like this okay so what we've done is we've got this clip and we've pulled it out now what we want to do is we want to add a blur onto this so back to the filters here and let's type in blur and we're going to select gaussian blur here okay and then the amount is at 20 at the moment we're going to turn this up and if you notice here on the right hand side you see our background is being blurred now now the reason why we do this guys is because we just want to have basically something in the background you know we don't want to have just black letterboxing so i prefer it with this it makes a cool design um you can go back to size and position and just just tweak it to how you want it to look okay so there's our background, which for me is perfect. Um, let's move on to our middle clip and what we can do with that, all right? So guys, now with the middle clip, this is gonna be our main clip. And all we wanna do for this clip is a size and position, okay? So same again, size and position. And what you can do for this one, because it can, a bit, it can get a bit confusing, the top layer, which you're seeing underneath here, let's just switch it off. So click the eye, that will disappear. And now we're only seeing this layer so let's go guys size and position and we're just going to drag this out again all right so this is going to be your main clip now when i do my tiktok videos i like to leave a little bit of space above and below you see here and the reason why i do this is because i might want to add some text here you know or here it just gives me a bit of space that if i did want to input any text then it's perfect. And also you get to see the little blur in the background as well, which I think is pretty cool. So this is gonna be our main clip. So obviously once you stretch this out, we wanna reposition it. And for me, that looks that looks perfect. So we're gonna leave that as there. Right guys, so perfect. We've done our background. We've got a nice blurred background and we've adjusted our main clip, okay, to where we want it to be. I'm just gonna whack the audio off here and I'm just gonna play it just to show you guys what, what it's looking like at the moment. So there we go, the footage is playing. And obviously you can see this is the main footage here and obviously the background's blurred out just how we wanted it to be, okay? Perfect, cool. Now, moving on, the third clip at the top, okay? So this is gonna be the clip where we're gonna add our, our face. So if you do stream and you have like your piece of footage did have your camera up, we can select our face let's get our face onto this TikTok template so what we want to do is the clip that we we turned off we're gonna untick the eye so we can see it now here uh, we're gonna click the plus sign um, and we're gonna type in mask okay and we're looking for simple shape mask here so once you click that um, down here we've got different shapes so I like to use the circle so the ellipse tool so you can click circle um, vaguely in the middle of the screen you're going to start to see a little mask shadow here um, and what we want to do with this is we want to make sure that we've got it into a nice circle shape okay so I'm going to change the width that looks like a, a decent circle we can always adjust this and then what we want to do is if you slide left and right on the vertical you can see the mask is going to be revealing where that clip is so you can see that our face is round about here okay um, so you just want to vaguely position that up um, that will do for now now what we want to do is we want to click the plus sign and we want to get a size and position here as well okay and then we're going to drag this out um, just to make sure that our our face is somewhat of a good size okay once we've done that we're going to make sure we select the mask tool again make sure it's selected here and we're just going to adjust that um, circle again Okay, so we're gonna bring it in a bit, you know, um, bring it up on the vertical and then horizontal, we're just gonna slide it across just so we can get it on our face like this. And just, just tweak guys, this is what we're doing with the width and the height, however big or small you would like it. So for me, that looks pretty cool. And once you've adjusted it onto your face, 
um, and you have a circle that you like or whatever shape that you want there's different shapes here triangle diamond like whatever you want i'm using the circle for the purpose of this video um, once you've got it click on size and position and we can literally hold the middle point now and just drag and we can position that wherever you want some people like it on the side some people like it in the middle wherever you want it guys it's your template your design i'm gonna put mine just here for there okay and like i said guys you can always come back to the mask and if you want it to be bigger you just play around with the height and the width etc and it will expand the mask for you so guys now Yo guys, just a quick recap on what we've done so far. So we got a piece of footage into Shotcut where we duplicated three times on three different video tracks where they serve all different purposes. One was obviously create our background, which we put a blur on and we stretched out. The middle track was obviously for our main piece of footage where we just sized and positioned and we put it where exactly that we want it to be seen. And the third one is using the mask tool. So if you do stream with like a, um, a webcam, you want to get your face on these TikTok videos, we accomplished that as well. We're back into Shotcut and listen, the, the template's done. So well done if you've kept up with the video. If not, you can rewind it and you can go over parts that you missed out. But your template is now done. The only thing for you to do now is add text if you want text, add your logo maybe if you want to put your logo in. Um, and yeah, just tweak a few things. If you want your camera to be a bit more bigger or the footage to be bigger, that's down to you. So you guys play around with that now. Um, I'm just going to whack on a, a Call of Duty logo because that's the game that we're playing. So I'll show you how that I can I would do. So I'm just going to add a Call of Duty logo in. Now, if you do have your own logos and you want to do that, what you want to do is create a new video track. So it's above. Okay. Make sure you've got your footage where it is. Drag and drop in. Okay. You want to put it on top here. Make sure that you've dragged it out so it's the same length as your whole clip. All right. Um, we want to hit filters because um, we obviously want to reposition where this is. Um, you can click the plus sign, size and position. And here, guys, we're just going to drag it down. I want mine to be right at the bottom. Uh, yeah, just about here. And that's what I was saying to you earlier, like why we leave spaces um, above and below just in case we wanted to do something like this and boom now we have our little call of duty war zone which will basically play along the video like if we scrub through it's always going to be there so there you go our template has been created now obviously when you create yours you can tweak it how you want it to look you know be creative put your own flair on it just remember when you do go to export that you want to unmute the sound here okay so it does play the sound of the clip um and yes, guys, there you guys, just one more important thing that I wanted to get across. If you did want to add text onto this footage um, and other graphics, etc., I would advise you to export this first and then re-import it back into Shotcut and do it on a whole separate project. OK, the only reason is when you start to put multiple layers on stuff, it can lag. So depending if you've got a really powerful computer, then it should be fine. But if you don't, then the best way to, that I found is you literally just export the footage and then bring it back in. And then you can just do your simple adding text over that clip. OK, yo, guys, there you have it. Your TikTok template should now be complete. I hope this video has helped you guys out somewhat or another. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you had hit the like button and subscribe to your boy, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy.